Let's say you and 15 of your closest frenemies want to cross a glass bridge in order to win a large cash prize. You'll each cross one at a time in a certain order. Of course, there's a catch. You'll cross by taking 18 steps on your choice of two panes of glass. At each step, one piece of glass will hold and the other will break, and you don't know which is which. If you break a piece of glass, you will be a lip set home safe and sound. Fortunately for players that come after you, any move you make is information that they can use to successfully cross the bridge. With those assumptions, if someone makes it across, presumably everyone after that person will also make it across the bridge. So to figure out your chances of making it across, it's equivalent to asking who do we think will be the first person to make it across. Let's say you're going to be the ninth person in the line. Should you be nervous? After all, there are eight people in front of you to give you information about how to cross the bridge. To answer this, we'll think of each step on the bridge as an experiment. The first person in line will perform the first experiment. If they choose correctly, then they'll also perform the second experiment, and so on. Anytime someone fails to choose the correct piece of glass, the person after them will start performing experiments in their place. If we think of the game this way, we can see it as a series of 18 experiments where each failure represents a player choosing the wrong piece of glass. Zero failures means all 16 players make it across. One failure means 15 players make it across. Two failures means 14 players make it across, and so on. What we have here is actually a situation that follows the binomial probability distribution where n is 18 and p is 0.5, 50%. The binomial distribution has a formula that lets us actually calculate the probability of any number of failures. Here, n is 18, the number of trials. p is the probability of success, 50%. q is the probability of failure. Plugging in different values lets us see the different probabilities of that many number of players failing. And what we can see is that it's most likely we'll have nine failures before that 10th person succeeds. So in other words, it's most likely that the 10th person will be the first person to cross the bridge. But if you're actually in line, you probably want to know should you be concerned based on your number. Here we'll look at the cumulative probability distribution, which tells us the chance that each player has to cross the bridge. What this means is if you're the first person in line, you basically have no chance to cross the bridge, whereas if you're the 13th or above player, you essentially have over a 90% chance of crossing the bridge. If you liked this probability problem, you should hear the one I was given in an interview. Click the video right here to check it out. I'll see you in that one.